Hello students, today we will, we will talk about uh, artificial intelligence, about what is artificial intelligence, about the technology. So my name is Joseph Bonaparte, I'm Associate Professor in Finance, Director for External. I do also consulting to uh, institutional companies. So um, what is AI? AI is an ecosystem in which computers perform tasks that requires a human intelligence. AI perform tasks that would reflect and simulate a uh, human cognitive ability. So for example, um, if you if somebody asks you something and you didn't know it, you go to Google, you do some research and then you come up with the answer. That's basically what AI does. Why AI? Because we need fast processing for information cost effective solution uh, and the reduction of data storage cost. Now it's important to mention here that the reason is why now is because immersion of big data and increasing computer processing. So if you hire somebody for 40 hours a week, five days a week, 40 hours, with this big data, you cannot have a person to help you enough. So what? So the big data start thinking about, we need something bigger than a human being, and they offer the AI. And now the problem was computer processing, but NVIDIA and Microsoft solved this problem. Now we have the big data, but we have computer capabilities. The purpose of AI to perceive, learning, forecasting, problem solving, discovering, creating content. Well, next is application of AI in statistics, computer science, psychology, biology, engineering, and infrastructure I heard recently. So there's a wide variety of application. There are three generation of AI. The narrow AI, which is like a chatbot and robocall. And if you have a credit card and you try to ask about transaction, uh, somebody answer the phone, uh, usually uh, answering machine or something. This is the first generation, which is called narrow AI, where uh, you talk with some machine and they try to help you. Also, if you do a chat live, uh, somebody, an agent talking to you, but in fact, it's just a man the um, narrow AI we're talking to you. And now with the current one is called general AI, which is chat GPT and uh, Bard AI and others. Uh, and that create content uh, for you as a user. The next one, next generation, which is we didn't have it yet, is artificial super, artificial intelligence, super intelligence, artificial super intelligence. This is when they exceed the humans and start performing activities without the human control. For example, um, if there is a rain, the artificial intelligence start doing something, send umbrellas or doing this, or there's a car accident, the artificial intelligence immediately send their firefighters or a cop without asking them, without calling 911. So AI is a big field. The subfield would be machine learning, ML and deep learning, the sub of the machine learning. The generative AI is a subset of deep learning. So machine learning is a big field, deep learning inside it. And then generative AI is one of those. I have videos for each one of those, but today we're not gonna go that. But when you hear machine learning, deep learning, it's a subset of AI. That's all I want you to know. So what technologies AI has is two main technology, convolutional neural network and large language models. The CNN is universal approximator gradient descent and backward back and back propagation, which means um, you do, that's a technology I'm gonna talk about it, not much we can do here, just to explain it that there is a prediction, you, you give the attention and then there's a prediction and multiple time it happened at the higher level and the lower level and from the attention to the prediction, create for you a content, that's a CNN. Large language model, which is large, large number of data set and parameters, language, general purpose, commonly language and model pre-trained and then fine tuned specifics. Large language model, we have in English about 100,000 words and typical sentence average 10 words. So there is a method to create a content based on this key parameters about the English language. So how it works, uh, there is a probability function that uh, uh, from the previous words, there is a probability to have the next word, like good, usually if it's if you're six o'clock in the morning and you write good, most likely it's gonna come morning or good day or good or good sleep or something. So for every word, 
there is a probability, and that's what machine uh, jury uh, create. Approximation to ease a probability function. So you ask you X, you said, I want this, and then they send for you approximation, what should be the output. Uh, for time to train uh, the LLM, which is large language model, for ChatGPT, three will take three, three, 34 years using a single GPU. But I said before, because the computational is available now, so split seconds, you can get answers. With highly parallelized computers like now, it become to be much easier and faster. Who did they see in technology? The technology is developed by a, a Ukrainian born, uh, he moved to Canada, University of Toronto. His name is Alex um, uh, Krivizieski. Uh, Alex Krivieski, who is Ukrainian born and invaded the mob and moved to Canada, born in Ukraine and Donetsk and moved to Canada. The University of Toronto and there start working with people who are one of the key owners of the chat GPT. That's Alex Krivieski and that's the founder of chat GPT and that's a professor uh, Gui Hinton, uh, who helped them to develop the CNN. Uh, I think Alex Trevierski is working now in Google. Uh, so when he needed the model CNN, he was, uh, Alex, he has a 15.3 error and then improved that. And with the technologies that NVIDIA offered, we come to be less uh, errors. What technology are AI employees, neural, language processing, computer vision, text-to-speech, monitor field, machine learning, and deep learning. Now I'm gonna talk about the issues with AI, social hazards, regulation, systematic risk, and ethical consideration. Uh, the AI regulation, there is a RICTAC and SUBTAC. The RICTAC is regulatory monitoring and reporting compliance. The SUBTAC is related to incorporate technology innovation. Systematic risk due to AI, exogenous risk, it's related to external event outside the system. Uh, for example, you might have a message, you think it's a hate crime, but it's not for the system, but you think. So there is an endogenous risk, which is within the system when individual entities within the system that synchronize the behavior of AI. Ethical consideration, that machine is still have no bias. Uh, Yet the running data set and algorithm may exhibit some bias. Like the machine doesn't have a bias across any group, but the person who developed the software might has a bias, not because a bad or good person, it just has to do with the culture that you live in and you think this is the uh, culture of uh, us. Um, ethical, there's a lot of ethical uh, organization, American Civil Liberty Union, there's Algorithm Justice League, so there are other people. I also do uh, research about, uh, independent research about artificial intelligence, the reader remains. The challenges are for AI is ethics, uh, compliance, critical thinking. And this is a good point here. Um, critical thinking is people think that because of chat GPT, people don't need to think, somebody will think for you, which is a machine. And that's that's a true, but also could be the other way around. Uh, AI can be improving your productivity. So therefore we finish with the reader remains. Are we, we still have a human oversight in our generation, this generation. Uh, robustness and performance still not, still there are some errors. Uh, record keeping, there's a problem, transparency and explanatory, not a great fairness and non-discrimination. -discrimin this is important because most of the developers of AI are white male. So there's a concern that when they train the LLM models, they train them in a white, what called uh, white male language. And then here is a bonus uh, appendix where you can see how you can use an AI uh, with the uh, Chrome extension, uh, different uh, 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 features. You can use it in a Chrome extension to develop AI. Thank you so much. And I think by now, we explain the key things, the AI world, which is why AI, what is AI, why AI, why now, purpose of AI. And then we went through um, uh, the generation of AI. Thank you so much. And I hope you enjoy the video and have a great day.